Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a love reading. And this love reading is, what are their real desires in love, okay? A little bit like my other reading, except the extended is far different, okay? And what I mean by that, it is is actually a little more detailed and, yeah, some a uh, little bit of uh, different. It is actually a lot different, but the idea is the same. We're just trying to find out all about your person, right, and how they are kind of how they are dealing with you and kind of how you are dealing with them. But let's see, it is mostly about them, right? It's a tell-all on them is what, they, what it is. And from the Enchanted Map Oracle, details, details, Capricorn. So you could be really, uh, you know, looking at things with a fine-tooth comb. And, uh, yeah, you could. You could be really, uh, and the magnifying glass is in this reading here. Yes, it is. And you could be really looking closely at kind of everything you do, right? Making plans, possibly. Magical map shifter. I feel like this talks about a new life. And we're going to look at the book, though, because these cards are a little bit new. Wide open. I feel like you are wide open for change and a new life. Yes, I do. And let's get this book out, okay? And these cards are new, so I'm not going to pretend I know everything uh, in this book. No, I'm not. And these cards are too... These cards are too cool not to, you know, open the book, so to speak. So let's see get what we got here. Let's see what we got, rather. Wide open. You are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life's endless possibilities. Okay. All manner of opportunities are presented to you at this time. And this is what I was saying. Magical map shifter. Let's see what they have to say about it. Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. I feel like you're going through life changes right now, Capricorn, and at the same time, you are really open and receptive to those. Yes. You could be knowing maybe that life is going to change for you. Yeah, you could, like, feel it, right? Intuitively, possibly. Let's see what else it says. When the Magical Map Shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best that you can be. Wow. Or someone who leads you out of difficulty and into a place of safety or success. Wow. And we also know that if we are dealing with somebody who is a soulmate, right, all they do is lift us up, right? I mean, typically, if you are with somebody who you really feel like you are on the same page with and they lift you up, uh, that can inspire you, right, I exactly, and to be the best uh, that you can be, right? I feel like that's what's going on right now. I feel like you are trying to be the best you can be, and I feel like you are wide open, right, and at the same time, you are checking the details. Like, you're paying attention, right, to uh, maybe bringing your own vibration up and... Possibly going through a spiritual awakening, right? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry about the cough drop, guys, but I'm getting a cold here. And I'm trying to kind of stop it, nip it in the bud before it comes, uh, before it is, you know, just kind of more uh, prominent or prevalent. Let's see what we have here for Capricorn. And Capricorn, right now your energy is the Three of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Four of Wands in the reverse, and the person you're dealing with is in the Five of Wands energy. So this is a love reading, guys. It may or may not resonate, right? These are general readings. Uh, I always recommend getting your own, but uh, so just putting that out there here. There could be a water sign you are dealing with, and the Page of Pentacles is over here for them. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see a little bit about this reading. Let's look at the bottom of the deck here. Let's give it. Uh, I did shuffle really a lot here. I'm going to turn this uh, deck over. Nine of Pentacles, Cap uh, Capricorn. Four of Swords, Judgment. I feel like, see, I feel like this is all about you and your own life. Like, uh, right? Becoming single. You don't even have to really be becoming single in this card. This card could just talk about you taking really good care of yourself and feeling abundant. Yeah, and kind of enjoying uh, taking care of yourself and being on your own. So this may not be, it, it could be a love reading. It's supposed to be, but... It can be about work, too, is what I'm saying. And the Empress is here. Five of Swords. King of Swords. Wow. So this can talk about uh, maybe somebody making a decision here or analyzing a situation, maybe, where there is uh, conflict, chaos and conflict. 
Mm -hmm. It could be at work, possibly. It could, okay? Because sometimes in these love readings, they can talk about anybody you are dealing with, like, uh, on a personal level. I feel like they can. It doesn't always have to be romantic love, but... Let's get into the reading here. Somebody's making a decision here. I feel like they have also either been uh, recovering or this is you most likely, Capricorn, as you're reading. But this could be your person, right? And that's the other thing about the reading. Some of these things, uh, energies can be, uh, feel free to swap them. Somebody, I feel like, is making a decision. It has to do with uh, either work or maybe being on their own, okay? And there could be a lot of chaos and conflict that you are... You could just be analyzing. You don't really have to be deciding. Three of Pentacles is showing up here, and that is for Capricorn. <clears throat> and the Ace of Wands is here. Fool card. So this talks about everything I was saying. Uh, I feel like you are taking a leap of faith here, and you want some type of a new beginning for yourself. And it could be at work here, Three of Pentacles, right? It could be. And let's see though as we get into the reading. Because the Five of Wands is here. And sometimes close to the Three of Pentacles can speak, uh, speak, to, uh, speak to a third party. The Page of Wands is crossing you, Capricorn. Excuse me. Devil. That's probably you, King of Cups. I feel like you're dealing with a water sign here. And I feel like you want to jump ship on them. Yeah, I feel like you want to leave them. Mm -hmm. This could talk about... Uh, you could be feeling stuck here about a new path. This can talk, I feel like you want to leave and you want some type of new new endeavors for yourself. Magical map shifter and wide open. Yeah. And you're looking at the details. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. And you could be making a decision here, over here, I feel like you are doing that with the details. You are making, or you're at least analyzing the details. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. I feel like you want to leave a situation here. You want like a new beginning for yourself. It could have to do with a water sign, King of Cups. But you could be wanting to leave this King of Cups, whoever that is. Maybe it's a boss, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is that King of Cups there? Because this can talk about kind of independence and walking away from a situation. It doesn't, or maybe walking toward one, but it doesn't have to be, I feel like these are changes in your life, and you're walking to something new, wide open. But what I mean is that you could be leaving a situation, it doesn't have to be romantic, I guess that's where I was going. The Hermit card, okay, there could be a Virgo here, well, my card is, uh, um, okay. I feel like you have been in Hermit mode here, mm-hmm, yes, I feel like you, you could have been in Hermit mode here. Possibly you're dealing with a Virgo and a King of Cups. But I feel like you are, you could be dealing with somebody here and you could have been like, uh, when we see details, details, right? And we see some type of a transformation here, like, like an awakening. Like you're going through an awakening here. And I feel like some of it is like in, 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 intended. Like you are telling yourself, I want a new beginning for myself as well. Mm-hmm. And over here, you could have been really thinking about this for a long time. You could be thinking about ending a cycle with a King of Cups and having a new cycle for yourself. And that's exactly what you are doing uh, with the Oracle cards, right? And the and we have these cards confirming down here. You're making a decision here. There's some type of there could be some type of a third party here. Yeah, I feel like there is, but it doesn't have to be. And this King of Swords sometimes can be your boss. Yeah, it can sometimes. Mm -hmm. So let's see over here and. Why it's all happening? The Four of Wands is in the reverse. Now this looks like a, a love reading, right? Why is that Four of Wands in the reverse? Whatever this is, I feel like you want to leave a situation and you want new opportunities. Yeah, you you want to be open to new opportunities. And it could just simply be that you are dealing with a situation where there is chaos. Mm -hmm. Chaos and conflict. Nine of Wands and the Tower. And this is what this is saying here. Why it's all happening is that you are feeling super... Uh, this, this is about, and the Four of Wands doesn't always have to be like a union with somebody. It can be anything that is foundational with the Fours, uh, which talk about stability like jobs. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is you here, and you are looking at a situation, you could be feeling like you're in the Tower. And for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, right? Because we see the King of Cups. You could be looking at a situation going, this isn't for me anymore. Nine of Wands. You could have already... 
gone through a battle with whatever the situation is. And the Wheel of Fortune is your desire. Yeah, you see, why does... I mean, unless you want a Sagittarian here, but I'm not seeing that so far. I am seeing the Queen of Cups here and the King. And I feel like what you want to do here is you want to change your life. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you want to... You want the wheel to turn for you, you want success, and this is why you are wide open too. Uh huh. And you are paying attention to the nuances along the way. Why does Capricorn want the wheel? Six of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you're frustrated. Yes, you're frustrated, Six of Swords. And you want the wheel, like you want a new life here. Yeah, you want a life with happiness and success mm -hmm. and good fortune. Why is that? Six of Swords in the reverse for Capricorn. This could be a love reading or it could be about you and somebody who is close to you. and Like a boss. Maybe you work closely with one person. Mm -hmm. Because even the Two of Cups in the Tarot is not always about two intimate people who are soulmates. It could be about a truce. And it could be about dealing in any kind of a really close relationship with somebody. Yes, it can. Six of Swords in the reverse. Why is that there? Five of Pentacles. I feel like you want to leave somebody else out in the cold here. and You want to go on with your life. You want to change. Uh-huh. And you feel frustrated. You want to leave this person behind. And this person could be a water sign or a Virgo. Let's see. I'm seeing a water sign. Why is he five of wands there, please, for Capricorn? Knight of Cups. This is their energy. Queen of Wands. Wow. You could be dealing with somebody maybe who is a fire sign over here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But this this Queen of Wands can sometimes be somebody who is uh, really independent and somebody who chases her dreams. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is passionate. I feel like your person's energy, uh, wow, they could be dealing, this could be a love reading, let's see. But this person, whoever you're dealing with, is... Uh, I feel like they want to give their cup here, or they're dealing with uh, a, a fire sign here. Mm -hmm. Why is the Queen of Wands there for Capricorn's person? And interestingly enough here, uh, this could be a water sign, the Knight of Cups. This could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And the Queen is here, right across. And the King is in the reading. This could be, you could be dealing with a water sign here who uh, maybe is uh, struggling here. Mm -hmm. And they could be, they could be struggling with their independence here. Yeah, they could, in some way. Why is that Queen of Wands there? Why does Capricorn's person have a Queen of Wands? Emperor. I feel like they're trying to control their, uh, you could be dealing with somebody who's trying to control their independence in some way. Or they want to go chase their dreams, something like that. Mm -hmm. Why is that emperor there? Why is the emperor there? And this can talk about third party energy, five of wands, not just like a struggle. The justice card. Wow. You could be dealing with somebody who's trying to who's trying to gain balance in their own life, some type of justice that they are trying to get in their own life. It's a possibility. The Queen of Cups is in their crossing energy. Why is that Queen of Cups there? I think they are the Queen of Cups. Ten of Wands, they're carrying a burden here. Wow, five of wands again. Wow. So whoever your person is, I feel like they're dealing in a situation where there's way too many people involved in their life. Doesn't have to be a third party romantic. This could be somebody who is dealing with somebody at, like they are having a burden here at work or in their family, five of wands. Yes, there's too many people here involved. And I feel like they're trying to gain control here. They are. Mm -hmm. And it could be about something that is like lawful or this could be about an inheritance. Uh, the justice card can be anything that has to do with like legal issues. Why is the justice card there for Capricorn's person? The Hierophant, yeah. And this can too, this can be a marriage sometimes, but this could be a Taurus, right? But this could also just talk about like trying to conform. This could be about work. The Hierophant talks about institutions. Your person could feel like they want their own independence or something. It has to do with uh, 
like too many people are involved and they are trying to get control of their own independence. I feel like that's what that is. And it has to do with some type of like traditional or corporate or something like that here. Why is the Hierophant there? Why does Capricorn's person have a Hierophant? High Priestess. And this can be Scorpio here. Mm -hmm. Because the Queen of Cups is Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And there are other Scorpio cards in this. The Tower is here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Page of Pentacles is why it's all happening for them. Why do they have the Page of Pentacles? This can talk about seeing value in a situation. And it can also talk about like a new start. Eight of Cups. Wow. Queen of Swords. I feel like your person is trying to discern a situation here about whether they want a new start here or uh, or about moving away from a situation. A situation where they're trying to gain some type of control over here for themselves that I feel has to do with like an organization or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. Because they have the Five of Wands twice which talks about too many people being involved, right, creating struggles and frustration mm -hmm, or competition. And over here is the Emperor card. Yes, there could be an Aries here, right, especially next to the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. And you could also, Capricorn, be dealing with... <coughs> You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a fire sign who's an Aries. Yes, you could. Because the full card is in your cross is in your uh your energy here. Wow. A lot of there's there's like four major arcana here. Wow. Let's see what your person let's get a card and what is crossing them is Walking away or having a new start. And they're discerning that. Why is the Queen of Swords there, please? Two of Swords. Yeah, they're not sure here. They could be not sure if they're going to have a new start here. Or if somebody's going to walk away from them. Mm-hmm. Strength card. Yeah, they're trying to have some courage here. What they want is the Three of Cups. Let's see. We're going to we're gonna find out in the extended all about your person, Okay. It's interesting because in a lot of these readings we can gain a lot of information here, but in this reading we need the extended <laughs> because we need your person's uh, detailed details, details, Capricorn. This is your oracle card. We need all the details on them because uh, this is inter in, an interesting reading. Yes, it is. I feel like you want some type of a new beginning and you want to leave somebody behind. That could be a boss or a lover. And you could have been thinking about this, Capricorn, Capricorn, like trying to make a new start for yourself and end something, but you feel stuck about it. It's possible. I feel like you were in the hermit mode about it. And you could also be knowing a tower moment is going to happen, and you just want to leave. You're like, um, I, need to op I need to be wide open for new opportunities with your oracle. And yes, mm-hmm. Wow. Let's get a card for your person here. They have the moon card and the hangman in the reverse. This person really could be a water sign here. But your person in their desired position here, uh, I feel like there is some, there is definitely, there's some type of a third party here. And the three of swords is here, not here. And neither is the ten of swords right? So this can talk, this is what I mean. This could, maybe this is not emotional. Maybe it is not. For some of you, this is about another situation, like a work situation. And for some of you, this is about love. But I think that you are looking for other opportunities, Capricorn, that don't really have to do with love. I don't think so. Just new opportunities across the board. Mm-hmm. Now, this is what they want. Three of Cups, the Moon card, the Hangman in the reverse. They could be 
like confused about whether or not they want like a reunion in some way. I feel like you're walking away from it. I feel like you are walking away from a situation. Because I feel like you just want you want a new beginning for yourself for some reason here. Mm -hmm. I feel like it has to do with too many people being involved in something. And you want to leave. You're like, oh no. And you could be knowing the tower is going to fall as well. And you could be dealing with a Scorpio over here. You could. Because in the root is the tower card. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. And in your desired position, I feel like you're frustrated. You want to leave somebody out in the cold. Or in order to get to your wheel of fortune, you know you have to leave somebody out. Five of Pentacles. Or you have to leave a situation out. This could be a boss. You could be leaving a Scorpio behind. Or a water sign. You could be going, this isn't working out for me. Mm -hmm. Because over here is the Chaos and Conflict card. And it could be getting in the way, maybe, of you doing this. Taking really good care of yourself. Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, you could be a mother, and you maybe are a single mother, nine of pentacles. And you could be knowing, I need to be wide open and open myself up to other opportunities. And so, therefore, you're looking at the details. Yeah. And let's get a card, Capricorn, because we're, we're going to close this reading down in a minute, because we're going to go over to Vimeo. But let's see in your desire position, or in their desire position, beg your pardon, what they want. Three of cups. I feel like they could they could possibly be wanting some type of a reunion. I feel like your person just wants happiness. Three of Cups. Yeah, they're carrying a burden over here. They could be wanting just happiness. It's going to depend here. And this can talk about a marriage, justice and the Hierophant. But this could talk about like a business. Yeah, it can. And I feel like Capricorn over here, I feel like you want some type, something that's going to inspire you. Whatever that may be. It could be a lover. Uh, it could be a job. I feel like, and as I was saying, I feel like in your energy, you just want, you want your life to change and you want new opportunities across the board. And more power to you, right? Let's get a card on the hangman in the reverse for your person. And your person is this king of cups, queen of cups, pretty sure here. Whatever your person is trying to do, Capricorn, whoever this is, they're really having a hard time doing it. Yeah, they are. And it's because so many people are involved. And I feel like if this person is not an Aries, <clears throat> they're trying to gain control here and have some type of justice that they need, that they, they think that they need, whether or not this is work or love. <clears throat> Hangman, hey what's a hangman in the reverse for Capricorn's person? Six of Wands. I think they want victory here and they want to be happy here. Mm hmm. And your person could just be wanting to win in some way, and I don't know what that means here. I feel like that means gaining some control. And they are confused how to get it. And I feel like your person. And so on some level, they don't want to make a sacrifice anymore. There could be a Pisces here as well. The Chariot card showing up. Wow, this could be a Cancerian. But whatever it is your person is trying to do, they are as well trying to have victory here in some way. And you could be leaving them behind because maybe they are not giving you the opportunities that you need. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk all about your person so we can fill in the missing uh, pieces here, uh, Capricorn. And we're going to talk about how they are seeing themselves, what their thoughts are, how they are feel, feeling about you, who or what is in their environment, the challenges and the blocks. Uh, and this, you typically are your challenges, okay? Um, and the unknown, what they're hiding from you or what you don't know about the situation possibly and what they are fearing and what they really want for their future on Vimeo. All the extensions are super affordable, Capricorn. I hope you join me over there. Uh, if you kind of want to know all about your person, right, 
I feel like you do. I feel like in this reading, I feel like you want to leave them behind, but there's something you want to know about them. Yeah, or about the situation. Yeah, I'm getting that in this reading. As I mentioned, they're all super affordable, guys, and the best way is to get your own reading. If you guys got a message here, please give a thumbs up. Thank you so much.